Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Digital Health Entrepreneurship. We are excited for this episode because we're actually talking with some of the staff, some of the frontline workers um, that are really seeing lives change with Fruit Street Health. So without getting too much into that, Lawrence, I'll, uh, I'll let you kind of intro who we're going to be talking to mm-hmm. today. Yeah, so we have Rachel and Kim here who are the two lead dietitians for the Diabetes Prevention Program. Um, Rachel, do you want to introduce yourself and then Kim? Sure. Hi. Um, yeah, so I am, uh, I've been with Fruit Street for about three and a half years leading the Diabetes Prevention Program. Um, I've been a dietitian in New York City for the past 10 years or so, worked inpatient at a couple major medical centers, and then went on to become a certified diabetes educator and worked in the outpatient setting with um, people with diabetes and started doing a little bit of an in-person diabetes prevention program, but realized there were several barriers with that. I saw a lot of dropouts, um, a lot of challenges in facilitating the program in person. So it really interested me when Fruit Street was looking for someone to spearhead their virtual diabetes prevention program. So I came on board, um, we built the program, brought it from in-person to online, hired a lot of dietitian coaches to uh, facilitate the program and we're growing and expanding today and it's been a great ride. And Kim? Uh, Yeah, so I have, you know, listening to your background, Rachel, I realize I have somewhat similar backgrounds. Um, Registered dietitian and I have over 10 years experience um, in New York City working in a large hospital system and it was great because I really got to start from the bottom on the inpatient floors, do outpatient uh, management. And um, during that time there, I also worked on getting my uh, degree in public health. And that really just expanded my interest to preventative health and public health and the importance of that. At the same time, I was working with kidney transplant patients. Um, the main cause of kidney failure, your, your need for getting a kidney transplant is diabetes. Um, and so that sparked my interest in the diabetes prevention program and and these things kind of all just kind of aligned when I learned about Fruit Street through Rachel who is a former colleague of mine and I was really excited to join the team and um, help with growing the program and bringing it to where it is today. Did you know that according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, more than one out of three adults in the U.S. have prediabetes? In fact, 90% of those people don't even know they have it, which might include you or someone you love. The good news is that Fruit Street's Diabetes Prevention Program can help you reduce your risk for type 2 diabetes by half by helping you lose 5 to 7% of your weight through diet and lifestyle improvements. During the program, you will be able to video chat with a dietitian and a small group of other participants on a weekly basis from the convenience of the Fruit Street mobile app or your computer. During each class, you will receive advice and coaching from a registered dietitian on topics such as diet, exercise, sleep, and stress management. Your dietitian will work with you to set small, attainable weekly goals that add up to big differences over time, improving your health and helping you reach your weight loss goals. At the beginning of the program, you will receive a free wireless scale to help you track weight loss progress. Just put the batteries in and it will already be connected to your Fruit Street account. (laughs) It's that easy. After a few weeks of participating in the program, you'll have a chance to earn a free Fitbit to track your physical activity. In between each class, you will be able to take pictures of your food in our mobile application and receive feedback from your dietitian. When you sign up, you'll be able to pick a day and time for a weekly video chat with your dietitian. By signing up for Fruit Street, you can lose weight, reduce your risk for diabetes, and start living a healthier lifestyle. Enroll in the Fruit Street Diabetes Prevention Program today. So uh, Rachel and Kim, do you want to share a bit about what you've been doing in terms of um, hiring dietitians now that the program is really ramping up and just share with everybody a little bit about what it takes to onboard a new dietitian to provide the diabetes prevention program through telehealth? 
Sure, sure, I can start and then let Kim fill in the gaps. Um, so basically, when we look for a coach to come onto our program, obviously, we are looking only for registered dietitian coaches. And that's um, what sets our program apart and really differentiates us because to facilitate the diabetes prevention program, you don't need to be a health professional, you don't need to be a dietitian. But we really see the value in having registered dietitians facilitate this program because they have the skills and the knowledge to do that. Um, that being said, we are very selective in the dietitians that we hire for our program because we know that in order to help somebody make a lifestyle change, it takes certain qualities, characteristics, and personality traits to be able to do that. So we're really looking for coaches who have skills in motivational interviewing, um, who've had experience working with clients in the outpatient setting, um, especially the group setting. If if possible so that we know that they can actually help people make these small gradual lifestyle changes throughout the course of a year um, to ultimately prevent diabetes and really improve their lives. So uh, when we look for coaches, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, and in terms of the um, onboarding and training process, that's, you know, um, definitely something we've worked really hard on. And um, I have a you know, a lot of that, uh, Kim to think for that, she's been instrumental in that process. So I'd love to have, yeah, Kim, if you want to hop in and explain a little bit more of the nuts and bolts of kind of what we do to, to onboard and bring a coach onto the team. Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I think you summarized it pretty well, what we're looking for. Um, and, you know, the, the CDC requires the lifestyle coaches to have this set training. And one of the great things I think Fruit Street can offer is that we're willing to provide that that training. And it's really about the, the CDC's program, the structure, the requirements, um, the concept behind it. Um, you know, you're, you're a lifestyle coach, you're promoting change, you're not just instructing them on, you know, A, B, and C, do this, you're good. Um, and so we're able to provide that so we can choose candidates that don't have that training because it can cost a couple hundred dollars if you go and get that training yourself from um, the various organizations that offer it in the U.S. Um, and so I love that because we meet a lot of dietitians in the interviews that have those skills, those, you know, they really can connect. And um, something that I always kind of think to myself is this is a person that's going to spend a full year with our participants and they're the face of our company. So we want to choose someone that you want to see week after week. You want to be, you know, looking to, to, to help you become a better person. Um, so after we identify the candidates, I think that's, that's kind of the biggest hurdle. And then um, the onboarding and training after that is really focused on um, getting them used to our software platform, um, giving them access to, you know, lots of instructions, visual aids, our policies and procedures, like how to manage things, hard skills, soft skills, and, and all that. But then also we give them like test account logins, they can get there and play around with it themselves. They have to pass uh, a quiz to make sure they can demonstrate their um, ability to use the platform. They do a live call to show that they are confident and they can launch that video call. Um, I will say our interview process has been a little easier now that everyone's used to using telehealth and <laughs> Zoom and all that software. Um, it's really made uh, a lot more people to say, yes, I, I use Zoom all the time. I'm much better at it. Yes, we started using that in my job. And so that's a huge change I've seen from when we were doing a lot of interviewing a year ago. Um, and yeah, so after that, they're, they're pretty much good to go once they have that proficiency. Mm -hmm. And, and we also made sure to implement a, um, a system where everyone has a, a point person, they have like a, a team lead, we call it. So they have someone to go to with questions. They're never like, who do I ask? Where do I look for this? Um, they're made to feel comfortable, comfortable, and, and they're doing some regular check ins the first four weeks they have their class, just just to make sure they're on track. Because I know that when you're new, you know, you never want to show that you have questions or you might not take the time to write that email but if you have a designated time each week to to express those questions you're more likely to ask them and, and that just leads to a better dietitian and stronger quality overall and can you tell us a little bit about the type of dietitian that um works for fruit street in terms of like you know are they working at a hospital do they work in a private practice how many participants do they usually work with through Fruit Street? 
Sure. So uh, the, the dietitians that come on board, one of the really cool parts about our team is that they do come from such a variety of backgrounds and specialties. The one common thread is that they're all very passionate about prevention, wellness, and they've had the experience, like I mentioned, in those settings of providing education to individuals and groups on lifestyle change. Um, but in terms of their backgrounds, they might still be working clinically in the hospital um, as an inpatient dietitian with a variety of uh, patients in the hospital who are you know, needing medical nutrition therapy for a variety of conditions. Um, they could be working, we have several who work um, at um, hemodialysis centers with, with patients um, with kidney issues. Um, we have dietitians who have their own private practice. So they're, again, there's a really good flexibility um, for our coaches to, to do other things um, and have other jobs, but then teach these classes so that they can get that taste of the um, education component and really component of touching people's lives to help them prevent conditions. Um, while sometimes these, these dietitians are working with a very different populations in their other jobs, you know, because they're working with sick, sick people. Um, so there is a variety, I think, in that sense. Um, Kim, did you want to add on to that? Am I? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, they have, there's a variety, you know, private practice, inpatient. The thing with the, the nutrition profession, being a registered dietitian, we all have very similar training to a degree. Um, there's very strict standards that the um, Commission on Dietetic Registration sets. But after that, the field is so varied. So we have people working in corporate wellness. We have people working, as Rachel was saying, in the hospital with very sick people um, and everything in between. Um, my favorite is, you know, we have a dietitian who has tons of experience. She's like pioneered some of the really awesome things we see now in nutrition and, you know, the bills passed in Congress and, you know, different changes. She's just been in the field so long. She retired. She decided she didn't really want to be retired, um, but she lives in a somewhat remote area and no longer wanted to commute. And so she found Fruit Street and has been working for us. And she, um, it's great because we, we do look for dietitians that have at least a year of experience as a registered dietitian. Um, but besides that, we have people that, you know, have maybe a handful of years or have 20 years in the field and they all bring a unique perspective. What does their interaction like look like uh, with the, with the people or the patients or members, I guess, that are in the classes? Like, is it just their, their teaching and then they're kind of done or is there more personal interaction than that going on? Yeah, that's a great question because that is such a big component of our program in that the coaches are facilitating 26 live video sessions throughout the course of a year-long program for each cohort that they work with. And just back to Lawrence's question of how many participants is a coach working with? Well, each class is going to have 15 to 30 participants to start. And throughout the course of the year, that might decrease in size a bit. Um, not everybody stays on for the whole year as expected. Um, but in addition to facilitating those live classes on different health topics, um, ranging from, you know, healthy eating to physical activity to stress management. The coaches are also messaging participants in between classes using the app. Um, they're responding and giving feedback to food journal photos that the participants are posting um, through the app as well. And they also have access to view the participants weight log, their physical activity minutes and all of their Fitbit data. Mm -hmm. So they're providing support um, and a lot of touch points in between those live sessions as well. That's awesome. And um, how many dietitians do we have hired now? Um, I mean, I guess I know the answer, but you tell, tell, tell the viewers, tell oh, the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> I think so we've been working, uh, we've had around 50 dietitians who've been teaching with us, some of them, most of them for at least a year. Um, and we're, we're, yeah, in the process of um, onboarding, several more um we plan to have over a hundred within the next few months total that's great um yeah i think now we've been uh scaling up more rapidly so i guess what's the biggest challenge in terms of now that thousands of participants are signing up every month mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like you know your management of the program um 
do we just need to hire another 10 people to help you or? <laughs> uh, Kim, I'm sure you can think of some challenges. <laughs> we both can. But yeah. Can yeah. Um, I, I think, you know, the challenges really just are maintaining quality as we increase scale. So, you know, there's, there's going to be time constraints on hours in a day. And, and um, I, you know, me and Rachel are just putting in 110%. We, resources are a big thing, whether it's, you know, resources to support making processes more efficient using technology or, or just manpower to do the, the jobs that we still need the, the critical thinking and the human interaction for. Um, but at the same time, there's certain things you can't rush. Um, you know, you want to make sure a coach can be confident and comfortable with the, the sessions and, and the classes and, um, you know, aren't, aren't overloaded or pushed to do things before they're ready. So, um, finding that balance and, and finding strategies to make the balance work. So, you know, definitely trying to utilize technology and, um, I know we've revamped our onboarding and hiring process and I, I spent a lot of time just saying like, okay, if we get this information at this point from them, then we'll have it sooner and we could do all these things simultaneously. Like how can we re reorganize this? So it's auto populating there. Um, and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> that yeah. A lot of amazing work. <laughs> so. I'm sure it's a little bit of like, does the chicken or the egg come first? You know, do you have, all of these users that sign up and then you hire really quick or do you, you know, I'm sure that's a, that's a tension that's always being balanced. Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, and there's a lot of unknowns, you know, we have these partners that they give us projections and the projections are just that projections. So there's no set, like, this is how many participants you will get on this mm -hmm. date. Uh, same with the, the dietitians, you know, they want to know, well, how many hours will I get? How many classes will I need to take? And we're like, well, when are you available? When do the right. participants want to join? <laughs> Lots of different oh, yeah. um, program at that factors. Time. So yeah. just kind of like making the right educated um, assumptions and, and balancing that out. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think about using the platform for type two diabetes? I know we recently had a call with the American Diabetes Association about you know, becoming an accredited program. Yeah. So leaving aside how much work that will be, but um, I mean, do you have any thoughts on, on that? Yeah, I mean, definitely the platform that we have is, is really well suited to help people manage diabetes. Um, you know, at the ability to integrate with uh, continuous glucose monitors and blood glucose monitors is, is amazing. Um, and then Booze, so that their coach who in, in the future case will be a certified diabetes educator can actually see the timing of their meal and then their blood sugar level an hour or two later and before and really give them the best education and um, support that they need to manage their diabetes. Um, so the platform itself and the, and the, the potential to tap into the resources of the the person, people resources we have of all these amazing CDEs already coaching for our diabetes prevention program and the amazing physicians uh, who specialize in endocrinology out there on our team is a very high potential to really help help people with diabetes. So we're excited. We've always been excited to utilize the platform in that way. Um, but yeah, the, the implementation and the pivot to kind of create that programming is, is the biggest uh, challenge there, uh, but certainly one that we're excited about um, as well. So I think just to add, there's another key part of our platform that makes it very unique and very well suited, the video conferencing. Um, so with diabetes prevention, you see this too, you have a lot of, okay, you can meet in person and get that interaction, um, you know, interactions where you can see body language and facial expressions and tone like means so much. Having a group where you can see other people is so valuable. Um, or you can have like the digital programs where maybe there's messaging and alerts and, you know, optimizing technology, all those advantages. So um, the Fruit Street platform, I would say it's best of both worlds. So you're video conferencing, meeting in a group. So it's almost like you're sitting in a room together, but you have the convenience of your home. And then in between that, you have the advantages of technology with tracking and reminders and, and 
taking it in your pocket wherever you go. Yeah, and just to piggyback off of that, you know, when I spoke about differentiators for our program, yes, it is that we have dietitians coaching our diabetes prevention program, but the other differentiator, and I think to this day, we are still the only program who has the live um, weekly video sessions for the uh for the DPP in addition to that in-between messaging and support through the app. So um, we're really the only program that's doing that, which is pretty, um, pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. That's awesome. Has it, do you feel like it's gotten easier uh, over 2020, like with your industry kind of, I don't know, maybe, maybe we could say like catching up with like people catching up. Has it gotten, have there been some parts of your job that have gotten easier? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, you know, it, it's almost a little awkward every time I talk to a candidate and that, that, that just comes to mind because that's what we've been doing a lot of recently interviewing. But we always say, you know, it's, it's not something we want to say is positive because no one would ever say that the pandemic and COVID is positive, but the, you know, hidden, you know, silver lining or blessing in disguise, however you want to say it, is that um, people have been able to uh, adopt this technology and they're not scared of it. So, you know, we have like grandmothers that are doing Zoom to do their Bible study groups. So to do a telehealth visit now isn't as intimidating. And we have the government that's saying like, yes, let's push through the funding for this. It's okay. Like, and I think that'll, that'll help to make these changes lasting. So again, in no way is saying that I'm glad why it came about, but um, we're definitely seeing that it's it's making it easier to adopt. Um, yeah, and we also have a really great customer support team. So in terms of how many participants, maybe, you know, maybe it has decreased <laughs> the amount of participants that are having technical difficulties, um, but you'll have to have another podcast episode with our support team. Uh. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, that's good. And, and I think it makes, it makes perfect sense in how you're saying it. It's like, well, we don't want to wish, we don't want to wish the pandemic on anybody, but it's, uh, I think it's forced a lot of industries to like actually catch up technologically and to start adopting some technologies that um, maybe weren't as commonplace, but now they are in a lot of people's lives and us serving a lot of people are, is easier because of that. So Rachel, Kim, Lawrence, thanks so much for coming on today. Um, this has been fun to kind of hear more of what it's like um, on the front lines of Fruit Street. So thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. It was really fun. Yeah, absolutely.